This past week at the draft, the Columbus Blue Jackets shocked everybody. Everybody. And everybody said who? So uh, I've I've done done some 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 searching around through Elite Prospects and Hockey Prospect. Hockey Prospect has their black book, which I'm very grateful for right now, because otherwise it, it'd be it'd be hard for me to find notes on this player. Uh Yegor Chinikov, right winger, five foot eleven, 181 pounds. And again, unrated. I absolutely out of nowhere. The number 21 pick by Columbus. Now, should it have been out of nowhere? Again, you know, scouts and, and all the scouting services will tell you yes. But last year in the MHL, which is the, the junior rank below uh, the, the KHL, uh, Yegor had 56 games, 27 goals, 49 assists, 69 points. He was the fifth leading scorer in the MHL last year. Uh, this year, playing in the KHL, so playing against men, 13 games played, 5 goals, 2 assists, 7 points. This is, again, what I'm talking about, which is you have the draft in October rather than in June. You can see how these European players are progressing after their draft year. And you can say, all right, so this guy's pretty good. And that's what Jarmo Kekalainen's thinking. And so we picked him in the first round. Was it a huge mistake? We won't know. We, weren't, we aren't going to know for years. So uh, Chinnikov, who may very well take a couple years to develop before coming over to North America, but again, he's playing in the KHL against men. And scoring not to, five goals in 13 games is nothing to, to sneeze at when it comes to KHL production. Uh, he's very good offensively, but where, where he falls for scouts is the consistency. And there's, there's questions as well about some of his, his decisions on the ice, where you might want him to go into the corner and fight for a puck that he's not. You might expect him to make a move that he doesn't. Very good east-west, so side-to-side, north-south, not as great. And he's not a guy who will wow you with skating at this stage. He's not a guy who wins races to the puck in the offensive zone often. But while he needs to work on that part of his game, and the defensive part of his game definitely needs some work, the offense, the talent, and what it's what it says in, in the Hockey Prospect book is basically, yeah, he is capable he is capable of, of being a very good forward and providing a, a lot of offense. And it is interesting, and it's an intriguing prospect, but he is a one-way player right now. He is he, he does not have the defensive side of the game, which is interesting because Columbus, when we think about this team under John Tortorella, this is a team where everybody has to play two ways. It's very similar to the Islanders, right? You have to be able to play at both ends of the ice, or else you're going to have trouble. You're going to have a coach that says, you're on the bench. And you're going to have fans that say, but he's so much fun to watch. And a coach answering with, yeah, not for me, because he's not coming back and playing defense. So is it a reach? Yes. Is there tremendous risk in this? Yes. But again, I do point to the fact he's been playing in the KHL. And at the time of the draft, Kekalainen likely had a scout over there looking at him saying, this kid absolutely would be a steal if you get him in the first round. I think where the, the the issue may lie is that the 2020 draft is seen as a very deep draft. And at the time that Columbus makes this pick at 21, it was seen that there were some excellent picks still available. Maverick Bork stands out. Hendricks Lapierre stands out. But we don't know at this stage who's going to be a bust and who's going to be a big star. And that's what makes this draft class so very interesting in a year that does have very many interesting things about it. Uh, the, the 2020 draft, we may look back five years from now, six, year, six years from now and say, Columbus, that was a huge miss on what was a great 2020 first round draft. Or we may look back and say, Kekalainen was thinking ahead. He had some pretty good scouting out of Europe telling him this kid was pretty good. And he was right. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts. If you've seen this kid play in the KHL, by all means, weigh in in the comment section below or if you watched them in the MHL last year, the VHL, which is one step below the MHL. Uh, let me know. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.